If you haven't already, make sure you subscribed. Still only 20% of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you haven't already, do that. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so Spring Championship 2v2s are tomorrow. And I need to make a video. So what better way to make a video than do it on the character I'm gonna play tomorrow. The Schnag, dude, Wu Shang. This character is like never played. And that really surprises me because Wu Shang has possibly the best spear sigs in the game. Not to mention some of the strongest gauntlet sigs in the game too. Like the signature kit overall is ridiculous. It's crazy that he hasn't gotten nerfed. I'm super, super surprised that he hasn't. I don't know if people just don't like playing gauntlets. I mean, there's. I, I feel like I can count the people that I've seen play Wu Shang. At the very least, in tournament, like on my hand. Uh, or even in ranked, there's like... Boomy's played Wu Shang before. I think Boomy, Boomy usually, whenever a character's been released... At least in the past, he's played that character uh, and used them to like win a tournament. And I, I think Wu Shang was up there when Wu Shang was released. Like what? It's been a long time since Wu Shang was released, like 2017. So I know Boomy's played Wu Shang in tournament. I mean, I have, and I found success with him in tournament as well, one v ones and two v twos. I never played him in one v ones until. Uh, CEO Dreamland Online against Cody, and that was like a really, really, really good call. But even now, with like the buff spear, okay, nice, dude. Even now, with the buff spear has been getting, and just the overall, like the buffs gauntlets have been getting too. It's just super surprising that more and more people haven't looked at this character at all. And who knows, maybe after this video. Uh, I'll link, I'll inspire some of my viewers to pick up this legend, which I'm not saying drop your main for this guy, but this character definitely is insane right now. I mean, even D sig on spear, which is his worst sig and probably the one reason why he would be a worse uh, spear character than Bryn is super super solid and it hits super hard oh, a little bit of lag i've been having some lag hopefully it doesn't end up transferring over oh he's dead yep that's actually so so nice that you can do that true even though it would have hit anyways but if you look at my stances i uh i take off the deck stance on Wu. i've always done that he just doesn't gain anything from decks uh, I think actually at one point he did and Do like Dobrain was playing Wu Shang. He was someone else who played Wu Shang. And yeah, Dobrain played it. I think got maybe got top eight with Wu Shang. But there was something on seven decks that you could do that you couldn't do otherwise on Spear. This is a long time ago though, so I don't remember. This is like May at latest. I, I think May. Uh, yeah. Spear and Gauntlets both have been making quite the return, though. And, you know, Hattori's always been just a popular character, period. Hattori's, like, I guess, like, Bodvar. Uh, one of the more popular characters, for sure. And also just one of the easier to learn. So... That, you know, sword's kind of like, once you, once you play that weapon, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh. Once you play that weapon, it's like hard to go back and really play other things. Or it's like, why, why play gauntlets with spear? It's kind of like, why play dusk? Like why, why play two more or less string weapons, even though spear kind of does it all it has good strings uh, although they're not like super complicated it keeps them simple and then you know why have why have gauntlets when gauntlets are like heavy in strings and whatnot 
when you can have like sword and it's it and you can have sword and have combos that are pretty reliable and easy to pull off gauntlets do take they're a little more involved which i guess is a possible reason why people don't play wushong also maybe i i always forget this that i speak for a very small amount you know like i'm i'm high diamond right so it's hard for me to sometimes i guess put that in perspective that the characters i see in ranked and whatnot are pr probably vastly different than what uh is actually happening in lower ranks aside from you know like whatever boomy says should be played like you know yumiko or something how he said yumiko is the best character and then i'm sure in lower ranks you know everyone who watched that video a lot of people picked up yumiko and like Mordex with Sandstorm, that is another example. People saw the success that was happening with Mordex, and Mordex was then getting tons of playtime. Not to mention, I think Mordex was already like really popular. Who's this guy? I2 Trash for you. Well, humbles himself, I guess, with that name. Even then, though, going back to what I was saying, like why play woo it just uh, it still goes back to like if you can just learn even basic things on gauntlets you don't need to be i feel like that's something people kind of like get in their head that to play certain characters you have to be like a peak performer with both the weapons even if you just learn basic like reads and whatnot with spear and gauntlets like Wu Shang, Wu Shang is probably going to carry you otherwise with like the signatures and stuff. Just because you you see me all the time. If you if you watch me, you know that I do a lot of like if I can hit it like that and light into side sig. That is something on Wu Shang that is just crazy. Like it's insane because already spear and light. Give me gauntlets. Spear and light pushes you to stay on the ground the way it hits. Oh, get him. I could have made that better, but anyways, it already forces you to stay on the ground. So you either have to dash left or right usually, or you can like just dodge up or spot dodge. So, you know, the options are pretty limited. I also do that. It's the same thing on gauntlets. I'll do and light into chase dodge side sig, which is really good. On Wu Shang, that's something I've started to use more. Wu Shang Gauntlet Desig, guys. I'm telling you right now, I, it was one I used to like catch people off stage with, because it just it, it catches all over. It catches way higher and way lower than I think what people expect. Uh, so using it like that is really good. Like right here, if I did it like that, that was kind of a bad example, but oh, I'm a griefer. But if the person was higher, like, I probably would have caught them. You can usually tell when you're going to catch it. Or at least I can, since I've played the Legend a lot. You can do... Another one is, like, D-Light into N-Sig on Gauntlets. This guy's kind of going in, so it's kind of hard to. Like, that covers a lot of dodges. Uh, and it's also just, if they have no dodge and they're in it, like, orange, I mean, you hit them with that they're going to go flying. Especially if they're like off on the side. Then it's going to be really, really effective. There's just so many things you can do with gauntlets, and that's why I've always liked the weapon. And even on spear, I said it was like a more basic string weapon. You know, the, the reads and whatnot are pretty simple. But with that being said, it still is... It still is like super good on Shang especially. I think Shang out of all the all the spear characters maybe aside from orion uh i don't even know if brin is as good as shang with like integrating signatures into dodge reads and stuff because you have that end line to side sig you can mix things up with like d sig and like slide charge off d sig you can do side light end sig which covers a ton of options so there's, there's definitely things you can do. It's just 
all up to you. You could even do, and you can, not to say this can't be done on other characters. It can be done on Orion. It can be done on Brynn. It can be done on Hitori even too. Uh, and Wuxiang is doing like D-Light into Ensig. Oh, that, right there, what I did, that's another one that I, I do a lot of the time. Is I do Dare into Side Sig. Oh my. This guy's kind of going crazy on it. He's gonna drop down. Look at that, like, look at that Sig. A lot of times people freak out and jump, so it works well. But also, I don't land. Like, I, I'm not forced to land, which is insane. He's gonna, like, Side Sig. I can tell. No? No. What does this guy want? Oh, I didn't get off wall in time. I was gonna nair him, and I think I would have killed. D sig again. Earlier, if you saw that D sig that I hit him with, like he was so high up in the air. And there's an example of what I was trying to do earlier. They didn't touch. They're dead. Like, look, it set me up perfectly to get a kill. On usually on maps like Shipwrecked and Crystal Temple, Demon Island. The D sig off stage, the slide charge D sig off stage works a lot better because he's still in animation and he, like it's still in the active frames of the move, so it's like he's still grappling everything around him. No, that's a nice way, honestly, that like I did. Look, I like I right there the side sig. Okay, I've done it both times now. Ready? Oh, I was hoping I trained him to spot dodge. Well, I, okay, he jumped that time. I don't know if I really trained him to do that, but it worked. Yeah. <sighs> Just, you can do whatever your mind comes up with, with Wuxiang, I honestly think. And that goes for, like, I think that goes for, like, a lot of scythe characters, too. Um, not even just scythe characters, just any character in general. The more you can integrate the whole kit, the better off you'll be. Like, I didn't even think... My Artemis, I think, is a good example of that because I don't even consider myself a good Lance player. But I just know certain things with Artemis Sigs that I can do and get away with that really, really helps me. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, we got this guy again. Let's see if we can come out. You know what? Let's just let's just see what I can do. Maybe I can get a three stock. I'll just, I'll just put all what I've talked about to the test now okay spike him is he gonna get a wall oh he did i tried to go for an egg drop didn't work mm. spear into gauntlets that's nice oh he tried to sig there even though it missed, no risk. Yeah, some people, another thing to note with doing like D light into N sig, some people just expect you to go for the true combo, which is why if you mix up like on Hattori as well, like say you do D light on sword and then you do GC N sig, you're gonna, you're gonna end up hitting it because people are like, oh, they're just gonna take, you know, that, that Sarah combo. Oh, I, I can kill him here really gotta i really hope tomorrow for the tournament that i'm not getting those rollbacks they're not like detrimental but they definitely have not been helpful at all okay yeah and there's another thing we're just finding a bunch of stuff out aren't we it'll catch on certain maps with platforms and that goes for like all sigs some people aren't ready for that. Ooh, I'm still living. Am I? Nah, I'm not. Gotta be careful on side light. I think one thing that I have a kind of a, not, yeah, I guess a bit of a like bad habit of, oh, couldn't hit that. I have a bit of a bad habit of is doing side light where I should just be looking for D light on gauntlets and right there. I mean, spear side sig so low risk so fast. Like if you're not throwing that move out, throw it out. But yeah, I need to use D light more on gauntlets is what I was getting at. That's the video though. Hopefully I shed some light on 
the old man, Wu Shnag, Wu Shang. Uh, yeah, I mean, the legend's crazy, but that goes for a lot of legends nowadays. So, just try them out, see what you think, and see you next time.